Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute tip. I'm going to do a short little playlist on modern day etiquette. Whatever part of the world you're living in, I think that we're all suffering a deluge of lack of courtesy, little everyday kindnesses, and just simple, simple etiquette. And so why am I doing this? Well, to quote George Carlin, he might say, we have more technology, but less time, more ways to communicate, but less communication, and we definitely have more people, work, traffic, cell phones, and cyber clutter, which results in overcrowding, time pressures, and numerous rages. Simply put, utilizing the ever-diminishing art of good manners certainly makes us feel better as well as the people that we interact with on a daily basis. By making others feel comfortable and respected, it also makes us feel good. And that's another big ingredient to looking and feeling your best. In the modern world, it's not about gender so much or status anymore. What it's about is treating others with respect. And it can be done very simply. To quote from my book, uh, Looking Good, the Fast and Easy Way, treating women, men, the physically challenged and all age groups and their station in life with equal respect and courtesy is the underlying principle of the golden rule. Good manners, etiquette, common courtesy, fair play, civility, social rules, consideration, or whatever label that you want to put on it. So in other words, it looks like the golden rule is still in vogue. Let's take a closer look at how we can apply it. Emily Post once wrote, it doesn't matter what fork you use at dinner so much as it matters to how you are interacting or paying attention to the person next to you. And I think I agree with that. And here's another simple analogy for modern etiquette. Uh, when you take into consideration the size and the ability and the different body shapes that we come into contact with, common etiquette sense today would say whoever is the most able-bodied would be the one that would hold open, say, a heavy door so that the less able-bodied or the weaker or the older uh, would, have a, would have a helping hand to go through the door. It's easy for, for everybody, it's kind, and some people would even suggest that it's a random act of kindness. And here's a few other pointers to jog your memory or spark a different viewpoint on the subject. Under the label of common courtesies, when in doubt, do the kind and gracious thing with a smile and a happy voice. It's a simple one. Treat everyone, regardless of uh, their age, position, or gender, with respect and courtesy. It's really easy to do. Here's another one that's so often overlooked, a simple thank you, and let's add, you're welcome. I know, they're simple, but boy, are they ever missing these days. Here's another one that seems to have been lost in time, a simple handwritten note for any function that you've attended or that you've been invited to, and at the very least, an email. Well, those are just a few simple reminders of modern day etiquette for this week. They're, they are simple, they're fast, they're easy to do, and they make both the receiver and the sender you feel good. Uh, it's a simple, simple way of living. Modern day etiquette. It's fast to do, it's easy to do, and it's also chic to do. We'll see you next time.